Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our Premier League show. We've been away for a little while. I do apologise, but now we are back. And we've got Big Philly Moore in on the couch. Big Luna himself. Thanks very much for coming back, on. Yeah. Um, so I suppose we'll start off then with, um, I don't know, we're going to the kind of smaller clubs and then work our way out to the bigger ones, I suppose. We'll start off then, I suppose, with uh, Burnley versus uh, West Brom. 1-0 to West Brom, a very dull game. Yeah, it was an extremely dull affair, actually. Um, it was kind of just West Brom under the cosh for the whole game. There was 20 shots on target for Burnley, yeah. they didn't have one on target. And then um, Henry came close to He did, yeah, yeah. He uh, he tried to tried to go to come a low shot wide. Um other than that it was just kind of like a siege effort by yeah. Lewis. I mean the game kind of it's just defence defence versus defence and really. defence yeah. and field and yeah. you know, the field and he's got the uh field stuff going out and get like Cara Farley on, which I think it's a very good sign for now. Yeah, but yeah, uh yeah. he'll do a decent enough job because he won't play that in the games. So. Absolutely, yeah. But, uh, um, uh, Hal Robinson kind of getting a goal and the red card for his struggles anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think he'll ever step up to be. I know he got goal in the Euros and stuff like that, but I just don't ever see him stepping up to be anything more than yeah, uh, Sam Bokes almost. Yeah, kind of struggle. Yeah, it's like the type of player to catch win for maybe the three games. Yeah, 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 and then just kind of fizzle out again. Um, not really much to talk about. I mean, no, like I say, yeah. Henrik came close and stuff like that. Not much to talk about on yeah. the Irish kind of point of view. But um, I suppose we'll move on then. Um, Watford uh, to Bournemouth nil. And um, again, uh, poor, poor performance by uh, Bournemouth. Anyway, uh, this looks sluggish. I thought actually speaking of Irish point of view, I thought what uh, Harry Arthur did to um, was lost his cheek of Shallow Basically, he was running to go to the ball on the edge of the box, and uh, Harry Arthur said, sort of Leave it, like, running at the point. Yeah. So he actually left it, and he ran off the ball. <laughs> that was brilliant. And he highlighted on match of the day, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's yeah, yeah, I like it, I like it. Yeah. It's a good player. But um, in terms of, um, I think it's only Charleston, I can't really pronounce his name, because he, he looked very good. He's a new sign there, Wofford sign. Uh, he got on the score sheet there, it was a lot of hard work. Yeah. Um, by Gray, and then he managed to hit the ball. He's got a bit of a lucky goal, but yeah. it was decent enough. Yeah, well, uh, play, so. Bournemouth kind of they 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 crashed for a bit. A foul they a uh, foul they missed. He had a kind of a decent enough chance in the box. We want to pull back to him. Um, after that, kind of you see what Marco Silva's doing. He hasn't very organised. Has has some good footballers. So, uh, you you see an evidence of Capullo scoring an absolute world yeah. world so. <laughs> yeah, just peach of a goal. Uh, he's, he's, it was weird because when he went to Spurs, he completely flopped and came back. Then I uh, went Watford and he scored a rate of goals um, last season. Yeah. And, you know, people are raving about him the fancy football thing because he, yeah. he was very low, but then, you know, he was scoring goals and stuff like that. There's a, there's a few midfielders now that have kind of, they've kind of sunk in that bottom of kind of Sigurdsson won, obviously, yeah, Tony Heaney on. Yeah, and he got seven as far as alone. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, we'll move on then uh, kind of to Leicester. Uh, they had a 2 0 victory there against Brighton. Yeah. They were expected to win that game. Yeah, yeah, you would say, um, obviously, Brighton coming up with a lot of passion, not quite have, do they have the squad capable of, you know, taking on a, taking on a Leicester? Leicester oh, just did already on City team. Yeah. They did, they did, yeah, they did kind of, they did kind of just implode, really. Um, Leicester is extremely comfortable. Like you, you could argue that uh, we were Arsenal being very lucky to beat them for three, you know. So Leicester looks solid. Um, Okazaki and Vardy have a really nice understanding. So yeah, they seem to be established. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, Okazaki obviously got the score sheet uh, again. He, he looks quality as so well. Uh, he's been. You know, McGuire set up last week mm -hmm. um, and he got against themselves. Yeah. yeah. Um, when you were shouting Wenger out, I think on uh, social media. So, yeah, I think he gave yeah, us a shout out, didn't he? Off there. But uh, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to, we'll get, we'll get to that. So, Bonus fans. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, Harry Maguire again. I thought, uh, you know, actually in fairness, well, that's the game a few years ago. But oh, yeah. I thought that kind of bigger team when it came in from, um, he looks 
he looks a good player. Like yes. he's, a, he's, he's a very old fashioned. He looks like a good boy, prick though. I mean, yeah. I, I I don't think I'd ever like playing. Just like the Yeah, no, nah, he looks like sort of like a kidney in the ribs, like sway so yeah, and stuff. But he looks solid. He looks like a miserable fucker. Yeah, he does. But he's, he's a solid defender. Yeah. He's a solid defender, and he gets your goals from set pieces. He's on the right with the ball as well. Like he's a, he's a, he's not trying to when I pass it keeps it tidy. Like so. yeah. And then he got on the score sheet again, but it should have been a foul because he pushed his hand in the back and then got in the back of the <laughs> bank. <laughs> but sure, it, 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 you take it your own way, you know what I mean? Yeah, probably was a good player, but it was an Arsenal player anyway. Yeah. And then, uh, obviously, we move on then to um, Southampton and West Ham, which probably the game of the weekend. Both fits, yeah, really good game. Yeah. Um, uh, I know it was a bit early on, uh, I think it was like 10 minutes in, went close. And then I think he's a fool. Do you know it? I don't really rate when Steve always gives me shit for it. Yeah, yeah. I just, just don't think he turns up enough in games. That he should he doesn't have, I don't think he's the stats of a pedigree to warrant the type of money. Nobody does these days. Yeah, yeah, it's an inflated market. But, um, yeah, no, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have adhered himself to his new fans anyway. And it was just it was just a stupid yeah, thing. Much like out. Shelby, much like Shelby yeah, last week. Exactly, yeah. Just petty. Bullshit! You don't need to be getting involved in. Uh, he basically on Twitter came out and apologised and all, but I just I just don't think going out. Actually, to speak louder than words. Gabbiadini, <laughs> uh, Gabbiadini, sorry, uh, he got on the score sheet again. Nice finish. Yeah. Um, he's been he, he's been very good since he signed from now. Uh, Everton were linked with him on from. I wasn't really sure would he be able or not. But he seems to be able to business for them. Yeah. Uh, he's got a new manager now. I think he kind of dipped at the end of last season yeah. in terms of goals after the after the cup and that. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's one of these kind of strikers you get that kind of got quietly go about their business and yeah. he, he might get you a few goals here and there um, and then Tadic saying get the pen whatever Font was doing I don't know what he did. yes it it's like he wanted to get involved in three points anyway and then obviously the man at the moment Chicharito you see that <laughs> but yeah, yeah he gets on the score sheet <laughs> and uh, again and uh, I actually didn't think he'd do well at West Ham. I was kind of going, uh, and I remember I couldn't a couple of lads in work and give me a stick about because I said I don't want to put him in the fantasy team. And he had him as his captain, and he ended up getting a lot of points. And I was so, like, what's yeah, that for? So maybe I should come and run out of football for having TV sets. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, very like him for the first goal. Yeah. Instinctive, keep keep his spells easy and bang. Yeah. Goal. Yeah. Uh, second goal, again, it, seemed to, like, it was a great, it was very, very awkward. Finish, but a very clever finish as well. Very yeah, it's just, it's just, it's, it's the ultimate fox in the box finish. Like it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's just beautiful to watch. Like it's, you just, you just love to see players like that. It's like I think he's a player that every club likes. I think even Liverpool fans would say a bit like kind of Torres was that player that everybody liked. Yeah, even if he played like, like obviously Everton mm-hmm. and he played for Liverpool, but I still never hate him. Yeah, so well, me, me being an Arsenal fan, the ball, there you go. I love the ball. Yeah, I always have. Uh, just that's that's the type of struggle I love to watch, and um, I was amazing finish. And he really, he really did uh, try to claw his team back into it. Anyway, yeah, uh, they they did they did uh, they were spirited with them, man. Like yeah, they did. Well, and then, then Zabaleta, yeah, whatever you're thinking. Yeah, he's he looks like he's gonna, I don't know, maybe he's, he's, like he's enjoying a nice payday and then right off into the sunset end up at yeah. Spaniola. I did rate him like he did make. Uh, was it the other week against uh, United made a great block, but he still has some bits in him. Yeah, like I think, yeah. I think he will be, um, and I think he'd be all right. Do you know what I mean? He was just in the kind of West Ham. They, they, they tried to get the big time was in, and then we have to be. Yeah. Uh, I suppose. Yeah. It was a good game. Uh, Declan Royce then obviously the Irish defender slotted in. He's been getting very good views. So fair play to him. Hopefully yeah. he keeps it up now and um, make it in the squad. And go from there. I wouldn't like him starting straight away. I'd like to build his way because he's only 18. But sure. If he's, if he's good enough, he's yeah. old enough to throw him in there. You'd hope he can kind of get a, a bit of a run and because they're starting to kind of, you know, the, the, the walls are starting to come to the dark of village. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't negatively impact kind of team system, defensive yeah, system, exactly, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, Hopefully they stick with him because I yeah, do rate. Right, I do rate right Village as a coach. Yeah. So. And he was a centre half himself, so I hope he'd be kind of. And he's a good centre half too. So I imagine he'd be working on you know molding into a good defender and stuff like that. If yeah. he stays, you know that's another thing. Yeah. The results. Um. And last year we're going his way. Um, and then in terms of another kind of 
Boring game. Uh, Huddersfield, uh, Newcastle. Ah, boring. To a certain extent, like, uh, the, the fans like, yeah. made it brilliant atmosphere and stuff. It's a good game to watch, but, like, Newcastle, see, I, I kind of feel bad for Benitez in a way, because he's setting his teams up, like, they're organised. They didn't play badly against Tottenham until Chelsea got sent on. Yeah. Uh, Atsi looks quality, like he's full of running full of I don't know what he came on. He came on down to us and he did yeah. all the running around the world, but he was just... But I think, he's really, I think he's really putting in the effort for them, though. Like, he was tre- he was running that, he was running that Spurs full backs and stuff, but uh, anyway... Yeah, he did well against them. Mm. Yeah, it's they just like, yeah. they've, they're just so... Uh, they've nothing up front. Yeah. Boy Gale, uh, as much as he tries, he did a very job in his championship. He's just, he's not Premier League quality. It, like actually Crystal Palace as well, he just he just can't score goals at this level. Yeah. And Jocelyn is exactly the same thing. That's what it is, yeah. Um and Jocelyn as well. Like okay. what did he do at Stoke? Yeah, no, Mitrovic. Again, like is Mitrovic uh Premier League level? I think, so. I think if he can channel his his, his uh, aggression it could be very really different. Yeah. Um but in terms of Huddersfield, I mean, they've done well since they came up. Like, in fairness, two results against two, like, yeah. And, um, like, to be, to stay up, you need to beat the teams around you. And with the players they brought in, such as uh, Gross from Ingolstadt, um, Nunez, as you mentioned, mm-hmm. and yes. um, Moy himself, you know, yeah. got the goal. Another great goal, by the way. Um, yeah. Started and finished it. Yeah, he looks good. But even last year, he was very key to them getting up. Mm-hmm. So well, it was so key that City put a buyback clause in his contract. So you know, they clearly, they clearly see him as a talent. Yeah, he um, didn't do that very much. Yeah, and mm-hmm. in, 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 in fairness to Huddersfield, they've been getting great results uh, against Palace now. Convincing them three nil was it? Three nil. Three nil. Last one week, one yeah, yeah, one of their third squad, and then they got. Um, Obviously, the one nil then against Newcastle there uh, at the weekend. So, again, two, you need to beat the teams around you, yeah. and that's what they're doing. So, fair play to them. Um, we'll move on then to the, um, the bigger games of the weekend. Obviously, Liverpool, um, they got a good result against Palace. Yeah. I didn't think they were going to win it at one stage because it just looked like it, it, looked like it was going to be a draw. But yeah. Palace frustrating very well. And um, they, looked, they looked well. For Palace, I'd, I'd be worried about them now. Mm. Uh, about kind of, you know, hovering around. Be, yeah, they might be looking at some games at six pointers. Um, yeah, Liverpool started out very flat. Um, like the, the way they were playing, like Jordan Henderson as well. He's, he's, he hasn't had a great start to the season. Yeah, um, he's been had a hell of a long playoff, didn't he? <laughs> um, but uh, after, like, the first half, they were kind of. The only player who really looked to be trying to get on the ball and make things happen was uh, was Mane. Yeah, but they he looked just, dangerous every time. Just exactly. even against yeah. Hoffenheim, he but looked they, they weren't even they weren't even giving the ball to him in the first half. Like they were kind of keeping him. He was just out out wide. And he wasn't yeah. coming into it much, and then when he came into it, they scored. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it was it was pretty pretty comfortable, but it, it was now by no means they didn't they weren't mm-hmm. saying anything. A lot of basically, yeah, but, uh, they were I think they've come out well from all the negative press that's happened recently. Um, the yeah, but yeah, but like they haven't really been given a challenge. Like, okay, half an hour, fair enough, but they were lucky as well, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I wouldn't be getting ahead of myself. I, I really don't think, unless they do something with Coutinho, sell them and bring it in someone, yeah, uh, maybe Van Dijk because Champions League, they just like. Gerard's come out saying that he thinks they're going to um, do well in Champions League, but he seems to be the only person because no one else thinks it. But fair enough. In terms of Palace, they need to watch themselves. They need to get results. Yeah, definitely. Or they are in danger. Uh, then in terms of... Uh, do we have to get to it now? Do we suppose we have to get to it? Yeah, now? I mean... Wait, so, so, yeah, Stoke and Arsenal, yeah. Um, one nil Hesse. The yeah the reggae town maestro Hesse, he to be fair to him he was very lively all game he his runs his movement was really good. Um, Arsenal had more possession. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal had more possession I think than I've seen them have in about two years. There was just no penetration and 
two three panel three panel shouts. Yeah. I'd say one Stonewall, that was the youth. Like fair enough he slick, but it's contact with the box, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're stopping him. Um and obviously the Lacazette offside. He was offside for having a baby toe, you know, yeah. over. In fairness though, he looked very good. Oh, um, his finish was clinical. <laughs> I would like to see him with uh, Sanchez and Oslo on the same team yeah. and just see kind of how they get him all up together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, um, Sanchez, by all accounts, is he, he's going to retire for the next game. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, he's going to retire for the next game. <laughs> He didn't look bothered watching them against Leicester. You see him yeah. as Tony Montana suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's and what's it look around? Oh yeah, jeez. Um, the thing about it is, right, we're playing the trade back, and you've seen it in the first game. It's basically you're playing with two defensive midfielders. The defensive midfielders are to cover when the wing backs go forward. Yeah. Jacques and El Nenny, they didn't even want to know. And the second game as well, Ramsey's not a defensive midfielder. Ramsey naturally is going to flow. Jacket again, he's giving the ball away. I know I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt if you watch the transfer video um, on our football fan TV. <laughs> but he he he's he's looked like his range of passing is good, but he just he just gives the ball away too much and he's not getting he's not getting across. Rob Holden was caught out countless times in the first game and in the second game he's seen it on the staff and to be fair, Mustafi was woeful himself, but at the end of the day, they're so exposed. Every time there's a break, where there are two, uh, there are two kind of, what do you call them, centre backs. There's three yeah, centre backs. Yeah, Monreal centre back. God bless him. Uh, Kalasnic putting in a shift. Uh, Mustafi, was Mustafi was wild. Mustafi was wild. But the two of them are cut out every time. It's a, it's a system. Like I don't know how you're going to change that. Yeah. You're going to bring it. Defensive major, I'm gonna have to bring in two people that are just gonna be wedged there and yeah. not move. But I don't know what I don't know what's gonna happen. It's it's worrying for obviously in the national final. Do you think do you think Vanga has to this <clears throat> No, but um Vanga is too weird, so he's not he's not getting thrown out of good. I think it's mad because it, it should, the fans should have to say that I know when Martinez was wasn't doing the job for us, every, you know, protests and everything like that, yeah. stay behind and stay and they got rid of him, so like it took a time. But, um, yeah, no, that's true. But Martinez didn't have the luxury of twenty years. And yeah, but he wasn't even in the as well. So yeah. he, he, he has uh, done what he had to do. With. Um, in terms then, but it was if, where, what, what next for us? No, we just there's, there's still some time left in the transfer market, and obviously it was nice to get the goal of Trent that is like his age, and he he has he's, he's you know he looks he looks the part. And the thing about it is, it's just are they going to move for a defensive mid, and he's still going to move for a centre back. Yeah. Uh, but let's see. Anyway, there's still time. Yeah. I suppose it would be one to the United and Swansea game. It was a good game to watch. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. They look red hot. They look like the fire on all cylinders right now. Um, it'd be interesting to see now if they can keep it up over the obviously over the season now. Like Lukaku seems to be on top form with Pogba. Yeah. They look good. They look really good together. No better than this for me. Um, I have Pogba. I have Pogba. I have Pogba in the fancy team. Just so. Yeah. I got his top down. Anyway, um, in terms of the results, Swansea, you know, looking like they're missing cigarettes in um, a yeah. lot. I think I think they'll start doing well once the see once the transfer window you know, ends. They're going to do so I think they're I think they're going to do well. In terms of United, it'd be interesting to see if they get Zlatan back because if he does come back, what does that mean for Lukaku? That's bad. Um, well, not bad in that sense, but it's just it's uh, the way United played with Zlatan is completely different. The way they're playing now. Like, have you seen in the post game interview basically what Mourinho said? He did the Mourinho team where they get a goal up, they still, they're still saying if they get a second goal, he'll let them, he'll let them do what they want. They're going to attack, they look free flowing, but when everything's going through the last time, it slows it up. Yeah, it depends. <coughs> um, it's about, it's, they do have strength and depth as well. You've seen it there when. Um, then Rashford went off, Rashford came on again, and he looks very good as well. It'd be interesting to see if he keeps on the season. 
as well as uh, Lukaku. You know, they 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 do look like they're being contention anyway. You know, I mean, they think so. I think so. And obviously, you know, you can say it's Swansea and Florida. West Ham. Yeah. So it was Swansea and West Ham. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, yeah. It'd be interesting to see if they come up against this Yeah. But still, like they're putting them away. They're putting them away. And like the big thing now is like should Anthony Marshall start? But I'm thinking, like, say if they if they started Marshall, they'd probably be Rashford coming around and scoring. You know, yeah. Anyway, they look great. They look yeah. Great. Now we we'll move on to my boys then. Uh, the big game on Monday night, which I thought for the for the neutrals from the game. Yeah, very good. What did you? I suppose I'll ask you. What did you think? I felt obviously it's were completely hard to know about the I don't think, but I think Everton took a foot off the gas and were like, really. I think it was hard. They did, but definitely um, the old oh, pro Carver Will. Yeah, he, he, he looked like he was on his last legs. Like, yeah. And yeah. um, Holgate as well, obviously the mistake. Bit of fatigue, was young as well. Yeah, it fell. He looked very good though. Yeah, he, he, and he's played out of position. He's a centre back. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. you know, bodes well for him in the future. That's why I think Kuhlman has a ball. And he the, um, and I, I think Pep got it right tactically. Uh, City looked a different team, even with him then. They looked yeah. completely rejuvenated with Emilio and uh, Bernardo. I just thought we looked completely tired. And, uh, yeah. It's, it, it, like, the back four, yeah. and the back three, the back three has a keen. Up, but Jack Yelk and Williams, like, Jack Yelk had the ground in his pocket, might I add. He did for a lot of the game. Um, but in terms of, 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 of like, all around the pitch and all, I thought Rooney was gorgeous. Yeah, I thought he took his goal very well. Covered, uh, covered more ground than anybody on the pitch. Yeah. He looks like he's not um, Sterling as well, when he came on, he did, he did uh, change the game, obviously he got the goal. But he was, I thought, was very, very good. Yeah. Yeah, and Danilo, I don't, wouldn't normally say that about him. I wouldn't normally say that about him. To be fair, I still have a different friend, but he's still on the second minute. Yeah, yeah. Um, I suppose another thing you could say in the first half, like, City came out and they were trying to make things happen, but Aguero just had a Aguero had a show and everything that he was doing was like That's three, three seconds behind everybody else, and he was just slowing down everything. So that's kind of what I took from that. I thought they were going out to have to have to still look at the child and say, and Rooney obviously just doing uh, open. As Rooney then, um, as he for Victoria for international football, can he bold well for Everton going forward? Because he's solely focused on winning trophies for Everton. Whether that happens or not, I'll be trying to remain op optimistic with the signings we've made now. We have secrets and all on board, so that's fantastic. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward now. To see him here, we saw him before the end of the window. I do think you need another extra striker. Right? He's looking at him and his fourth up striker, Mexican lad. Mm -hmm. We're looking at him, so it'll be interesting to see how that kind of goes. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I suppose we're going to move on then to the, the last game, probably the biggest game of the weekend, and the first place, the second from last season. Yeah. Uh, we've cracked the game, end to end. I thought Spurs played very well for Wembley. Like, people are criticising them for Wembley. I do apologise for the noise in the background. They are having a, the Dundrum ladies team are having a meeting in the room next week. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, 60, 68 percent of the possession. Yeah. I, mean? I I watched the whole game and I thought they were uh, very good. I thought a lot Alonso's free kick was exquisite. I also I I had I, I had no money there for payday. I put two euro and fifty cent. And uh, it's for our Chelsea to win 2 1. Happy day. You call me the master. <laughs> I also okay. predicted really to score first and Everton to draw. Let's see. That's what they got over Yeah. No. Oh, well, 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 that's, I, I don't want to accumulate it too much. Yeah. In all seriousness, though, they need to clear Alonso's left foot for future generations of the They need to clown. Oh, yeah. The win. Alonso's foot. Yeah, well, he, you know, he was back to centre back arm with Chabby, but that's from the team. The goal was a peach. Yeah. Um, Spurs didn't well to get back into it. I mean, the goal was coming, they had the momentum, and yeah. then it was only a matter of time. Batchway had his own goal, <laughs> like a clown of the years. Um, and then, yeah, they 
You go down to the other end, and uh, Alonso gets in, so it's almost by a boy. Yeah, you kind of, you think, like, I think if Lurie's even came out and said it, like, you probably should have said it. Yeah, yeah. And the mirror post on the helmet, and he didn't just... Who's a fiend? Yeah, but that's it. Um, well, he, he wouldn't be happy with that anyway. Um, what I would say is uh, Jermaine Genus on Five Live actually came out with a good point about like how how Tottenham are fair and when so he was saying playing in White Hart Lane it's a much narrower pitch yeah. so they'd be you know someone to get the ball would be straight off straight off quick moving it and he's like now they have more time on the ball it's starting things are starting to slow down the field yeah but they, 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 they didn't they make their dimension in the training facilities the same as well so they don't have an really excuse now but I'm not having that anymore look if you can't play in the stadium and you think that you're People are going to make give it over. It seems like a Wembley curse for them, though. Two wins in their last. Yeah, well, we'll see. They're going to have to get over at some point. They're going to have to get it's over. A, if, they, if they want to do well in the season, that's what they're going to do. It's a small minded mind mentality. How? It's just for Spurs. Oh, is this meant to be me? No, no, just Spurs. They beat us one year and they just stopped. Stop. I, I, I don't like Spurs, but. Um, you know, I just think they're, they're great to watch. I love them better. I think he's class. Yeah, just so strong. You can see the two lads when you're near him, Louise and uh, back in the over. He's such a hero. Just so awful for him. Like, you just you'd love him to kind of add a bit more, a bit more numbers to his game. Like, yeah. A few more goals, a few more assists. Uh, Deli Ali, class. You know, Harry Kane. He's been. He's you know. He's, he's two been, two games. Two games. Uh, yeah, he cracked the post. He did. Yeah, he came and close. He was, yeah. Uh, as far as against Chelsea, didn't really get much uh, much action. Um, I suppose we'll leave it there now, will we? Yeah. We've covered all the games. Um, if you feel like we any of our points are controversial, or you have any disagreements or anything, or you would like to add, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching our football fan TV. I was talking the show there. It's been a long day. Thank you very much, Philly, for coming on the show. Thanks Always a pleasure. Me, Hopefully, you'll be on more often. And um, also, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button right above his head. Okay, thank you very much.